Hey, how you guys doing? I'm USMC Doc 1-4. Uh, you've probably watched some of my other videos, and that's why you're watching this one now. If not, please go and watch my other videos. I'll teach you all sorts of nifty stuff like gunsmithing and working on your car, and some uh, very amusing medical how-to videos to save people around you. This is not one of those videos. This is me being on a little rant. Uh, just like I begin all my other videos, uh, I do utilize colorful vocabulary, so I apologize in advance if I offend anybody or if you're small children. I'll try to keep it to a minimum, but right now, I'm pissed. Actually, pissed is an understatement. I am fucking irate. Because right now, our government is failing us. Um, if you haven't figured out by now, either by my screen name or by my mannerisms or my videos, I'm active duty military. And because I'm active duty military, there's certain things that I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about my leadership. The things I'm not allowed to talk about, I'm not supposed to talk about, okay? So I'm not going to. What I am going to talk about is some of the bullshit that's going on right now with your representatives. And yes, they are your representatives, whether you voted for them or not. Uh, right now, we have no budget. Budget hasn't been passed. And it's embarrassing. It's a fucking joke. It is the most unfunny joke known to mankind. Um, they have... They're, they're acting like a bunch of spoiled children. They're bitching and complaining about who's doing what, who's not doing this, who... It, it's whining, and it's aggravating, and you'd think that adults would be able to handle this better. But they're not. Instead, they're running our country into the ground over sniveling bullshit. And by bullshit, I mean all the other crap that is getting tacked on and that are excuses for not passing the budget. Their, your representatives have one job. Okay, Their job is to make sure that the government is right. To pass the budget. All this other bullshit, okay, all these other laws, all these other bills, all these other crap, none of that matters. Obamacare does not fucking matter, people. Okay, I hate to tell you that. It doesn't mean dick in the big scheme of things. Okay? Passing a budget, on the other hand, does. Now, like I said, I'm active duty military, so certain things aren't hitting me as hard um, as it is hitting other people, but it's still fucking hitting me. Without a budget, um, I lost all of my civilian coworkers. Um, I'm working on my degree. Uh, my class started after the 1st of October, so guess what? My class doesn't exist anymore. Okay? But that's nothing compared to some of my friends. I have friends who are wounded in combat who don't know if they're VA benefits, what's going to happen. Because nobody knows. Okay? I'm, I mean, I'm going to get paid, I think, because they passed some feel-good bullshit signed into action in order to make sure that the military got paid because you don't want to piss us off, I guess. I, I don't care, Okay? They need to get off their asses and do their job. Their only job, make sure that the government is running. Because now, this is how bad it is. I mean, this is how much it aggravates me. I didn't even write this crap down so that I'd have prompts or something. I'm literally winging it here. The, the thing that really hurt, I mean, like, yesterday I was reading the news and finding out that the, the normal buffer that happened before, before survivor benefits going to the families of um, my dead brothers and sisters isn't taking place. So now that these families have to go and basically fend for themselves if they want to go to Dover uh, to escort the body home and a bunch of the funeral details. And that, that, really, that really hit home. Um, back in a previous life, uh, I was a biomedical photographer, and I photographed bodies at Dover for a while. And I've handled the bodies, and I've seen the families, and I've escorted. And... Anyway, it, 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 it fucking hurts. It hurts to know that, that my dead brothers and sisters, their families have to have additional suffering on top of the loss of them. And that's just a little piece of all the other crap that's going on. They, they need to go out and they, they need to do their job. They need to pass the budget. They need to stop with all this worthless crap. You know, it's like I read on the news and I'm hearing shit like, oh, we'll negotiate, but we won't compromise. But what the fuck kind of crap is that? What, 
What kind of asinine bullshit is that? You're going to draw a fucking line in the sand and, oh, you can't cross it, we need this, and, oh, I'm not going to count around? Pass the fucking budget, people. You can work on all this other crap later on. If you can work on fucking Obamacare, later on you can debate that shit till it ends on the fucking ground. And today I'm fucking reading some fucking Democrats got arrested on the fucking green while they were part of a immigration protest. Why the fuck were you on the green? Why the fuck were you out there in a protest in a, on the green getting arrested when your ass should be in the f in there fucking working on a budget? Okay, this is asinine. This is embarrassing. We have all these other countries that are watching this fucking media and reading this shit, and we're a laughing stock. I, that, that is embarrassing as fuck as a service member, okay? And not only that, you have news media who want to go and hop on either bandwagon of whatever bandwagon. Oh, it's all the Democrats' fault because they want to pass Obamacare. Oh, it's all the Republicans' fault because they don't want to compromise. Oh, it's the... Who the fuck cares? You know, try... Yeah, unbiased media. That's funny. And then you got all the comments, all the all the postings, all the twitters, all the all that shit is going out, and it's people get this little tunnel vision, and this is what their truth is, but they don't see anything outside it. And you can argue till you're blue in the face, and you're not going to change their mind. Okay, whether you agree with them or not, it doesn't matter. That's what their mindset is. Okay, this party is evil. These people are evil. This, and it's all fucking asinine crap. And the budget still doesn't get fucking passed. So, with, with this rant, I, I digressed a little bit. Apologize. What this entire rant is about is, I don't want you to get out and vote. Seriously. Don't vote. Or vote, or whatever, because voting is what's got us into this problem. Um, basically, when you go out and vote, all you're going to do is vote for uh, another professional politician who's been doing this shit for years who has no grasp on reality. When you're living in Washington for you know, five years, 15 years, whatever, you have no grasp on reality anymore, okay? When, when the hell's the last time a congressman went out and bought gas, okay? Went out to the store, bought, bought some fucking meat. Do you see the price of fucking beef? I highly doubt these fuckers care. It doesn't apply to them. It doesn't affect them. That's why it, the, the budget is no big fucking concern. What do you do? I'm getting fucking paid. But you're not. So don't vote. What I want you to do is I want you to get out and fucking run. Okay, for the next five years, I'm active duty military. I can't run for representing anything. But you can. Okay, you can get up off your ass and go and run. Run for a position in your government. Local government, federal government, it does not matter. Run. That is your right as an American. As an American. Okay, you're a citizen. You just wasted five minutes watching me babble about bullshit when you could have been taking five minutes to go and research how to get elected in your town. If, you, if, if it worries you, if it scares you, start small. Get elected as a sheriff. Get elected as a treasurer. Okay? Uh, assemblyman. Anything like that. But get elected. And if you want, aim for the fucking stars. And run for fucking Congress. Because who is better to represent working men and women than actually wor actual working men and women? That's the way it used to be. Okay, Congress, they, they get elected, they go in, represent their people, do their job, get out. Now you're, you're, you're following professional politicians whose only job is to get themselves reelected. That shouldn't even be their concern. How much money can I make for, for, my, you know, for my running? It doesn't, that, that's bullshit. Your representatives do not understand you. Your representatives don't see you. They don't know you. Okay, they can say all this crap, but they haven't done any of that shit in years. And even in D.C. they haven't done that shit in years. Okay? When I was stationed in D.C., if I went out of the air, if I walked out one of the Air Force bases, I was in the middle of the damn ghetto. I mean, the ghetto, okay? Hate to say it, I'm a white boy. I did not blend in. You honestly think some old fucking white crusty dude in Congress has ever been to downtown D.C.? Okay? They have no clue what is outside of their gates. And the only people that can represent outside of those gates is the people outside of those gates. So, get off your ass and get elected. Okay? I have to wait five years. And you can damn well bet that when I'm done, I will get elected. Because the only way to fix it, a broken system, is to fix it.